Everyone knows the minute you drive a new car off the lot, its value depreciates. But for electric vehicles, the drop is dramatic. EVs are truly efficient, but are they really worth the investment? Well, according to a new study from iccars.com, used EVs are depreciating 10 times faster than their gas-powered counterparts. This is definitely a cause for concern. But what could be the reason behind this? Actually, there are a few. The 2023 study by iccars.com reveals that the average price of a used electric vehicle plummeted 31.8% over the last 12 months, while used gas-powered car prices fell 3.6% over the same time frame. Over 1.1 million vehicles sold from November 2022 to October 2023 were analyzed to determine these five-year depreciation rates. Comparing this data historically, it was found that depreciation was lower across major segments than in 2019. Used electric cars have always suffered higher depreciation than equivalent gasoline cars, IC Cars executive analyst Carl Brower said in the study. This pattern will continue until electric vehicles don't require heavy incentives to sell and consumers gain confidence in their long-term ownership costs. Now, circling back to the potential causes. The first reason is obviously batteries. EVs are only as good as their batteries, and those things can be expensive. We're talking about a vital component that makes up half of the car's value. Unfortunately, batteries do degrade over time, like that forgotten banana in your lunchbox. This means you might inherit a not-so-fresh battery when buying used, potentially leading to a hefty $10,000 or even more than $20,000 replacement down the line. Most manufacturers give an 8-10 to 10 year warranty on the batteries, considering the main factor that batteries are made up of reactive chemicals that tend to degrade as time progresses, resulting in their limited lifespan. The true evil here is the unpredictable nature of battery health, as you may never know when the time for replacement is going to be. It could take much longer, but it could also come sooner than you would expect, which is quite problematic when purchasing a used EV. As far as gasoline cars are concerned, it's relatively easy to check their state. You can check the engine for some leaks, check the suspension brakes and bodywork, then, if all seems fine during the test drive, you can be pretty sure that you're buying a car in a good condition. After all, there's the service book to check for oil changes and other services. When it comes to EVs, there's no sure way you can check the battery, the management system for the battery doesn't tell much, and it's also quite unreliable. An OBD reader wouldn't help you much either, so it's pretty much impossible to know the actual state of the battery, especially if we consider that there are so many outside factors that impact the degradation. Just think of outside temperatures, high or low, and not to mention high charging and discharging current. Finally, don't forget about factors such as overcharging and overdischarge. None of these can be checked in an EV. Then again, you can check oil change in turbos and similar data on gas-powered cars. Plainly said, there are just too many question marks for EVs at the moment, so it's not shocking that there aren't many people willing to buy a used car knowing they might have to spend a lot of money just to put in a new battery. This is a big reason why the value of EVs drops so much. Massive discounts on new EVs are the second reason. The price tag on new cars always determines the used car market, and things are no different with EVs. The only problem is that EVs are getting cheaper every year due to the massive discounts. Just take a look at the recent price war that started in the third quarter of 2023. This began when Tesla dropped the price of its standard Model 3 sedan by about 17% and its Model Y long-range version by about 26%. This February, the company temporarily cut prices on two versions of its Model Y by another 2%. Elon Musk's initial price reductions on new Tesla were already impacting EV sales a year ago, IC Cars executive analyst Carl Brower said in a statement. But his repeated price cuts kept pushing used Tesla prices down, which spread to all electric vehicles, creating weakness across the used EV market. Tesla, Ford, and other manufacturers are giving massive discounts on their new EVs, which can now be bought for 10 to 20 or even 30% less money compared to just a year ago. 
dealers simply have no other option because the supply exceeds demand significantly. Dealer lots are full and it takes 117 days on average to sell out the current inventory, which is way over the industry average ratings. Now all this goes on to say that new EVs are a way better choice than used ones. In some extreme cases, we can see EVs losing 50% of their value in just three years and luxury models are particularly affected. Just take a few Porsche Taycan models advertised for sale as an example. One of them, a 2020 Turbo with just under 15,000 miles, comes with a current asking price of $89,998 even though it had an original MSRP of $179,630. That's a drop of $89,300. Or you could check a 2020 Turbo S with 21,635 miles at a current asking price of $105,900. That model was paid nearly $207,000 back in 2020, meaning that it already lost more than $100,000 of its original value in just four years. The Tesla model's depreciation rate is up to 55%, which is notably higher than that of gas-powered cars, which tend to lose around 38% of their value after five years. That brings us to the third reason, high running costs. You must have heard about the key advantage of EVs lower running costs over internal combustion cars that have been boasted about for years. Well, in theory, electric cars should be cheaper to run than gas-powered cars because all the electricity should be cheaper than gas. Then there's the matter of maintenance. As EVs don't require classic maintenance services such as oil changes among others. Finally, EVs should be more reliable due to the fact that they feature fewer moving parts than internal combustion cars. However, reality seems a little harsh. The charging cost for EVs could be lower compared to gasoline, but only if you always charge your EV at home, and that's pretty much impossible. EV owners need to visit public stations occasionally, and there, the electricity is anything but cheap, especially if you're willing to cut the charging time and use a DC unit. In that case, the cost is pretty much the same and sometimes even higher compared to gas refueling. That itself beats the true purpose, doesn't it? As for maintenance, there are no fluid changes, but on the other hand, repairs are way more expensive, especially when it comes to body parts after collisions, both because of the lack of trained personnel and the specific design of electric vehicles. For that reason, insurance premiums are also notably higher, which also adds to running costs and contributes to the overall price depreciation. Now how could we have not weighed in the tires? EVs are much heavier, which leads to quicker tire wear, so you better be prepared to change the rubber more frequently. Another pretty huge factor is the low reliability scores. Now when you buy a car, the first thing you look for must be its durability and reliability, right? That's why models from car markets like Toyota hold their value extremely well. EVs were also a sensation and were expected to feature high reliability ratings, but the results were pretty disappointing despite the fewer parts. EVs are less reliable according to a recent survey by Consumer Reports. They cause 80% more problems compared to traditional gas-powered cars for various reasons. Of course, most complaints are about the battery and its performance. Charging issues are common for pretty much every EV model around. Then, there's the matter of overheating as well as underperforming electric motors, something we saw on the Mustang Mach-E for example. Actually, that's only one part of the reliability problem. Although simpler in terms of the overall design, Electric cars are advertised as vehicles of the future, and those futuristic aspects of its models are advertised in a way that they overly rely on tech features, especially when it comes to the infotainment system. Physical buttons and controls pretty much don't exist in EVs, and such complex infotainment systems are extremely prone to errors and malfunctions, so much so that even the tiniest problem can stop the car from running. Many consumers also complained about the build quality. Car manufacturers are doing everything to cut down production costs, including neglected quality control, improperly assembled body parts, and faulty interior components, just being some among the many. The significant reason among the bunch might be that EVs get outdated soon. 
With a significant technological leap for newly released models, the ones from a few years back already seem outdated, and battery technology seems to be getting all the innovative attention. EV manufacturers are constantly breaking barriers when it comes to max range, not to mention the charging speed which is currently one of the major deal breakers for many potential EV buyers. Many of us are wondering the same question, does it make any sense to purchase an EV which will surely turn into an antique worth almost nothing in just a few years, right? Well, one thing's for sure. Electric vehicles aren't holding their value like other cars and the competition is surely between newborn lithium-ion batteries and a century-old IC engine. Now, it's entirely up to you. Which one would you choose? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below, like and make sure to subscribe for more intriguing matters. Catch you next time.